Imagine you're a gardener and you have a piece of land you want to cultivate. The weather conditions are amazing. The soil is fertile, rich in nutrients. You take some of that soil in your hand and you can almost feel the possibilities of what can grow here. You take your seeds in your hand and they are kind of impatiently waiting to be spread into the ground. What do you need to do? Sow the seeds and water regularly. Easy, right? And now imagine the same piece of land. But the weather is not that good. The soil is dried out. Difficult to work. And kind of hard. You take the same seeds in your hand and you think to yourself, I don't know if this is going to work. And even others may tell you that there's nothing that will grow here. What changes? I think we can all relate to these feelings. And in this case, I think you can agree with me that it seems much harder or even impossible to get the results you want. In this example, the seeds are your visions and dreams. And the soil is how you perceive the world. Same seeds but two very different contexts. I sometimes ask my clients to imagine a symbol for the term self-confidence. And I'm already interested and triggered what you might have in mind. And you might be surprised about the responses I get from my clients. A mountain, color red, a knight in a shining armor, a star, a smile, all for the same term. Because every individual interprets the world in their own way. Everything that is happening externally is internally interpreted and translated into reference what you already know. It's like you are your own electrician, wiring and connecting new dots. So this thing in your head, your brain, is a constant learner. And I hope that you are learning something right now. At least that's my humble hope. And it is connecting new dots constantly. The words you say to yourself are your reality and no one else's. If you tell yourself that something is impossible, that you can't do it, or that it's too hard, it's very likely that you will get the confirmation that it is impossible, that you can't do it or that you are not good enough. So be aware of the way you talk to yourself. Because science has, have, has proven that it doesn't really matter if you hear things from the outside or if you tell things to yourself. Your brain provides you with the same emotional response, hence a feeling. So be aware of what you Say to yourself, positive and congruent self-talk is key for anything you want to achieve. Earlier on, I quickly showed you that slide. And you were probably asking, what is this? What is he trying to say? I see A, I don't, I don't get it. In that way, I wanted to show you that your brain was starting to scan, starting to research for kind of a resp for a response, for an answer. So let me solve the mystery. Intention creates attention. What do I want to say with that?
When you have a very clear and defined intention, any soil can be worked. I'm going to rewind a little bit. When I was promoting a series of trainings, I thought I did everything okay, but it didn't work out at all the way I wanted it. And I got angry and frustrated. And I said to myself, that went well. <laughs> and after a while, I talked with a friend about it. And um, she said, where are you focusing your attention? And I said, at all the things why it didn't work. And, he said, and she said, you know what I see? I see a sulky Georg. I said, okay. And at that moment, I recognized that I was actually only focusing on the past and all the reasons why it did not work and not what I could improve. So what did I do? I went for a walk. I went for a walk to change my mind, to change my state and to get into a better, to get a better feeling and to get into a better state. And then I stepped out of myself in a position of an observer, like a good friend. And I asked myself, what is it that Georg can improve? And I started to tackle down all the bigger parts into smaller tangible pieces, constantly asking myself where, how, and what can Georg improve? And the more I did it, the more I found my solution. Let me give you another example. I have a client who's an athlete at a very high professional level. He told me that he'd been promoted from replacement bench into first line of his team, which is objectively amazing news. However, he came to me and said that he felt highly stressed and anxious on the pitch. He further, he said that um, he got married, became father of a healthy child, which even increased his stress and tension because he wanted to provide properly for his family as a father and husband. So this guy at the top of his career with everything going right was so stressed that he couldn't focus on the pitch. What did we do? Same thing, same approach. I asked him, where and how and what he can improve. So we identified all the areas of self-doubt and the necessary steps to be taken so that he can be the athlete he wanted to be. And the more we dove into it, the more solutions and approaches he found. And when we were done with his work, I asked him, how do you see yourself now? And he said, I know what I have to do. I said, and the fear? Gone, he said. That is the power of intention. Again, when you have a well-set and defined intention, any sort can be worked. So use that intention to create an outcome that is attractive for you. When you have your outcome and you know where you want to go and you want to cultivate this piece of garden, you will find solutions. You will look for different fertilizers, watering systems. Uh, you will speak with other experts and so on. You will do research. You will look for any short-term impact and long-term impact. Do you agree when you know where you want to go? So imagine if you transferred this idea to any other area of your life. What would happen? Imagination is a very powerful tool. It helps us to see the path we want to take and the outcome we want to achieve. So use it to create an attention and a vision in a positive language in a tangible way, and the specifics you need to achieve that goal.
and create a vision of that goal. Describe what you see as vividly as possible. Add the sounds you want to hear. Hear the words you're saying to yourself. And feel the feeling. Feel the state you're in once you have achieved it. Do you agree with me when I say when this frame set is given that the criteria of really making the decision of going forward, of going to get where you want to get, becomes much easier? You are a lifetime learner. And everything that a human being is capable of can be learned. So trust your skills that even when you're facing obstacles, that you, will, that you can overcome them. Even if you don't think that you have the skills, you can learn them. It's just a question of connecting the dots in a different way. And every step, even if it is the smallest one, brings you closer to your goal. I like the saying that there is no failure, there's only feedback. Either you learn or you win. Already Einstein said, your problems cannot be solved with the same mindset that created them. <clears throat> so what would change for you now? Where will you start to sow the seeds of change for yourself? And I wonder how well you will tend your garden once you start focusing on your goals with a positive mindset. Where you set your mind, your actions will follow. Thank you. <laughs>